Hey everyone, it's Dawn here, and I got some uh, user requests, questions came in. Came uh, Some questions came in this morning, but I am on my way to a ride, so I figured I'll just go ahead and answer now. Um, but what am I doing? I am doing a solo GMR ride, GMR Mount Baldy, the Lodge, East Fork, and I'll price squeeze in 60, 70 miles on my own today. And then tomorrow, got a Marty night ride to Mount Baldy. We're gonna check out the lodge has a new dinner menu. And um, so I wanna check that out and we're gonna do a night ride at GMR, which is, I always love that. And a plus to beat the heat, it is so hot out. And, um, and then on Sunday, we're gonna do a hundred and, I, I see tomorrow's gonna be about 45 miles. And then Sunday will be about 120 miles, um, 120 miles, and I don't remember, somewhere around Mount Wilson area. Mount Wilson? Yeah, I think Mount Wilson area, but it'll be all straight. So lots of riding lined up for this weekend. Excited and happy about that, even though it is going to be so super hot. Um, but questions, questions, all right. So there was a question that's come up about how to ride fast and I haven't made a video about that because to me riding fast is everything that you do to ride slow just to ride I mean you just naturally get faster and faster don't you <laughs> so I'm not too sure how to answer that I do know that some people want me to show them how I hang off the wheel and stuff like that and I kind of hesitate to show I mean I've had other videos in the past showing that all I do is hook my let's see so if I'm turning to the left then I will hook my outside leg up against the the body of the wheel and then just hang off to the left um, oops I think I need to transition hold on one sec um, but I don't know, Every I look at all the best riders out there and all the riders that are way faster than me and they all ride different and they all find their own ways to go. So that's why I don't know if I'm the best person to ask about that. I do know that um, sometimes when you're trying to go faster, then what happens is uh, you get the wobbles and that's what kind of prevents you from going faster. If that happens, that's just your body telling you, um, if there's nothing wrong with the wheel, like, um, I don't know, the rim is horribly bent or, and, or something like that, right? If there's nothing, barring any technical issues with the wheel, if you're getting wobbles when you're only when you start going faster, a speed that you're not used to, then it's just your body, um, your muscles and your body needing to get used to that. I also know that your brain needs to get used to the input. The, the faster you go, the faster inputs are going to be entering your brain and you want to be able to stay on top of that. So what I always say, my guideline is don't go, don't ride faster than you can see ahead of you. Uh, don't ride faster and seeing is also how well your brain is processing that information so if you're if you're going so fast that you can't process that there's a huge pothole that you need to avoid right in front of you you're going too fast um, so don't go faster than you can see and process and don't go faster than you can break so that's my big thing. If you can't have a really good emergency break at that speed, at that new speed you're trying to hold, um, slow down. Because that is big. <laughs> don't go faster than you can break. And don't go faster than your guardian angel can fly. Um, so that is all on how, I guess, to uh, limit yourself to not go as fast. But how do you go fast? I don't know. I don't know how I go fast. All I do is uh, twist the throttle, step on the pedal, or lean forward, right? Um, but I guess the big thing is don't push it. My big thing is don't try to chase speed. Don't try to go fast. Instead, 
work on smoothness. So when I was racing, my race team name was Smooth Curves Racing. And the whole point of that is while everyone else is over here trying to figure out how to go fast, I was just figuring out how to be smooth. Be smooth in the turns, be smooth in the corners, uh, be smooth going into the turn and coming out of the turn and all of that smoothness. So if, if you need to slow down in order to be smooth, then slow down because smoothness is key. Don't scare the crap out of yourself. That is not the way to go. Be smooth, be gentle with yourself, and be patient. Give yourself time. And when you have the confidence and you have the smoothness, the speed will come on its own. That's not something you have to chase. So, the other question that came in this morning, someone asked, um, is uh, let's talk about the EX30 firmware. So I do have my EX30 back there. That is my wheel of choice for the most part, for most things. Um, the newest firmware out now has the beeps. It has that weird thing when uh, it cuts out, uh, when you do your free spin test, it just shifts. It does this thing where it like shifts to neutral. So it doesn't just stop. Um, it gently winds down and it takes forever to wind down and it's actually really super annoying because I when I do my free spin test for my pre-flight check then I have to keep holding that heavy wheel up until it stops spinning and I can put it down and that wheel's heavy so that's annoying but um I I Flyboy Adam says that he kind of prefers the old way where it just shuts off and I tend to agree with him. But other than that, I don't really know what that means that it does that. Um, are you guys getting car sick? Maybe. Okay, maybe I won't do this again. But <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, the power delivery is amazing amazing the power delivery is wonderful everything that i've heard is that this new firmware is great it's wonderful it's great um get it there's no bads well the only bad is that it has that horrible idle sound so at idle the motor has this definite wheezy whirring um noise and i have video documenting that already and it is annoying but Honestly, I've also really been able to tune it out for the most part, so it's not a big deal. Um, the This is the first firmware that forces me to use hard mode. I, I go back and forth between medium and hard mode, but I like medium mode better. Um, unlike everyone, I think, I think all the fast people like a hard mode, okay? So take that into consideration but for me medium mode is where I like to be but this is the first firmware the other firmwares before this forced a lot of people to go into hard mode and this is the first firmware that forced me to go into hard mode so now I'm in hard mode and in hard mode it feels like medium mode um, and in medium mode now with this new firmware I can't even take it so it's just the, it moves around too much but other than that once I change that then it's great I love the power delivery it feels like much safer because at the high at the top end the EX30 used to feel like the power would start to wane out and now I'm not feeling that anymore I'm feeling power all the way through the beeps are coming on like it's supposed to the beeps are being reliable they're being safe I finally feel like the EX30 is safe and it's good and it's really working with me and um, I really like it so it is it is wonderful and uh, from everything that I've heard everyone else agrees that this is a great firmware so get it it's good anyways I think that is it for today thank you for joining me I hope you guys get your wonderful rides this weekend and I will talk to you guys later bye